Hello, welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine. In just a few days, we're going together for Thanksgiving. And I wanted to go ahead and give you Sunday's video a little bit early. Guys, I wanna invite you into the heart of our home, the kitchen. Now you've seen portions of it, but today we are going to wrap it all up. Before we dive into the holiday vignettes, remember to go back and look at these videos from Tablescapes all the way back to the hauls that we did on how we got all the items that I'm using to decorate this season artwork that we did in the previous video and also the family room portion where we had a whole lot of fun letting you know what was behind the scenes and guys back to the original Christmas tree that kicked off the holiday season I'll attach a playlist for you click it once and enjoy I'm gonna let you just take a quick look around the kitchen from entering the back door area and let you see this is a real life kitchen and you know we try and keep our home clean um, you no know, boys <laughs> and guys period they act like guys in all aspects so if you see a crumb left over from breakfast then it is what it is we live here so pretty much a very busy season already um, but you know, anytime you show a space in your home, you also show your lifestyle. These little flat trees were just perfect to be uh, on opposite sides, flanking these columns for me because we still had access to the counter space. And when my husband comes in, with all of his bags and stuff from work. He has a lot of stuff and he'll unpack there on the counter and kind of organize and, you know, start his process of putting things back together again before he goes out. So that's his separation zone. Now the area between the stove and the refrigerator is really designed to be a coffee bar. I like this space better because it's near the sink and when you're getting water, for the coffee pot, etc. If there is a spill, then it's easy to clean up. And I kind of have things set up where you can easily clean up a spill. You have to do that for the fellas, ladies, you have to. And this two tier buffet server is my absolute favorite. It serves a dual purpose. You want fruit, you want your cup for your coffee. Everything is right there. And I really love this setup and I hope you like it too. And by the way, my tea drawer is right in front of the coffee pot. Okay, what's so special about the sink area? I know, I recently cleaned up my paint brushes there, so you'll see some paint splashes on the outlets. But listen, what about those trays? Why do I have cafeteria trays? When my sons had to attend college full-time from home, these came in handy. I allowed them to eat their snacks in their room as if they were living in a college dorm. And they weren't too messy. They returned them and cleaned them and put them right back there. They also use them to eat on the couch when they're watching their sports. So they come in handy. And also when I am doing the dishes, I don't have to have a dish rack or anything like that. I use a tray, place the dishes there, the water gets in, I empty it out. And there, the trays go back into their stack. You can't go wrong. You can find those in my Amazon store. I purchased this little bowl from Goodwill. I place my jewelry there when I'm doing the dishes. Okay, so the area to the left of the sink. I've already set this up for light desserts. I'm really not sure who's going to come right about now. But anyway, I'm ready. I've got my cake forks here and some plates and just setting it up because I know we're going to have some sweets this holiday season and you know those were a part of that Christmas haul that I shared with you guys earlier love this rug it came from Lowe's so why not go all in with the big red truck and yes it's designed for the door but hey I needed to put some red on the floor this worked out perfectly and yes, I flank the columns with those wooden flat trees so the countertops can remain accessible. 
on the kitchen island. I love this charcuterie board. And of course, I've just got a candle and my tin here with cookies in it. And this is just something cute to continue on with sprinkling the theme all over the kitchen. And this is something I can take off very quickly because when it's time to prep for cooking, we are ready and good to go. This is the area most people will have as a breakfast bar, coffee bar, between the stove and the refrigerator. So I decided to go ahead and set it up like open shelving using our leaf from our dining room table that I painted last Christmas season. All of the dishes here are the ones that I had on our table sharing with you the Thanksgiving Day tablescape. So this is a great way not to put them back in the cabinet right away, but they are accessible. So we can quickly grab and set that table up. So if they turn it into a card table, guess what? This is where everything is. So when it's time to dine, as I say, you can just pull it back out and put it on the table and let's enjoy a meal. I absolutely love this space being used for this. So use those spaces the way you want to use them in your home. I purchased a small collection of cream and sugar dispensers from a German couple that was downsizing to go into a retirement living home. And it was such a pretty collection. I think I purchased like five or six in that collection. And I, I love them. They're all white. Yes, the coffee spoons are here and you can find those in my Amazon store. You know, I loved those farmhouse beads, the black ones. I got those from Walmart, but they were six feet long and they didn't have a tassel. So I ended up cutting them in half. So one half is on the coffee table and the other half is here in this vignette. I love it. I love that touch of black here. I didn't want to do too much on the cabinet ledges. I wanted to keep it clean and I came up with this idea and I shared it with you when I shared the haul. So let me show you how we pulled this off. Before I go showing my floral box some more love again. You remember these trays where they actually have these tubes that you can put live plants in them. I'm just using those to support this piece of styrofoam that I just cut. I'm telling you that those shippings from Amazon are definitely coming in handy with all of the bubble wrap and the foam inside. Those Dollar Tree Christmas trees and the faux greenery that I've used a million times before from Hobby Lobby. I just removed the base of them. There's a tile base and has little spikes on the bottom and you can just stick the spikes into the foam. There wasn't really a way for me to wrap the ribbon all the way around the box since the ribbon was a little wide. So I just used one of the corners of each of the handles to support the ribbon and added a little hot glue there to secure it. I did use two types of ribbon for a pop of color and it turned out absolutely amazing. I love it. Here are three trees and two of the small green shrubs. And here are three trees and four of the small green shrubs. I love this one so much better. Impact! I added the two ginger jars that I'd taken off of the mantle and that was all this area needed. Flank in the stove, we created this beautiful arrangement using those letter boxes. And because these letter boxes are somewhat thin, they don't take up a lot of counter space. And that is a blessing because when you're cooking, you need your counter space. And I was able to secure them to the wall using a command strip. And of course, just adding in picks. Some of these are recycled picks because you know how it is. You clip a leaf here, you clip a leaf there. And then next thing you know, you just make an arrangement out of what you have. And this worked out just fine. I also had the skewers left over from the previous project 
and I was able to attach pine cones just like before, added that to the arrangement, whatever I could find to just fill this up. So I thought it turned out absolutely gorgeous. Even some of the um, picks left over from some pine straw that I had earlier, it turned out so pretty guys, love this. And I still have my counter space. Now this wreath was once hanging on the window by the breakfast table. I moved it over here just to add a pop of color above the stove. Now that was a gold wreath hanger. I added that black ribbon to it so the wreath hanger didn't blend into the cabinet. I added that black velvet ribbon. Consider adding under the cabinet lighting for things like this. It will make your counter vignettes really pop. Now, since you're able to see the breakfast area from here, I'm gonna jump over here and share with you how I dressed up the topiary trees. I had those very large picks here. Remember these? And they have a clip on the back of them. I added the twisty tie just above that large ball there. And then I clipped the pick to the twisty tie. And that was it. Now, you can't see it, but later on, I did add a gold pick to this arrangement. And it is absolutely stunning. Now this red wreath is an old DIY. It's made from a wire wreath. It has strips of an old t-shirt wrapped around the wreath and Dollar Tree poinsettias glued to the t-shirt. And it's stunning. It's been with me now probably about six or eight years. You saw one bar stool when you first enter the kitchen and you saw that one sitting near the coffee bar. There's another bar stool sitting on this side. I did purchase the large bar stools because the females really make it difficult to place two smaller ones there and the guys like this. These two tables were freebies, so they are going to get a little paint job, but they are the perfect little beverage tables, just perfect. And you can easily find a remote control. You don't have to leave it on the couch where it sinks down into the back of the couch. So I love these little tables. They're just due for an update and I wanted you to see them. I did want to hide them because they exist in this space. If you're new here, don't forget to go back and watch the earlier videos that I made for this holiday season. Don't forget, I'll have those on a playlist. Click it and you can watch them all back to back. Now, gather is normally the only word that you will see in this kitchen. And now there are several words everywhere. Tis the season for whimsy. Well, did you enjoy the space? I hope you did. For now, I am done with the painting and scrubbing. Cleaning is always ongoing and you just do it when you can. So I'm excited to rest my joints, to rest my muscles and enjoy our home. I'm so thankful that you were here today and I hope that you enjoyed spending time with me. And I just want to remind you that we are posting early. So consider this a Sunday video. And I'm taking a break for Thanksgiving. So enjoy, enjoy, enjoy.
and leave lots of comments. What stood out to you in this video? What are some takeaways that you got from this video? So tell me, talk back to me in the comments because that's how I often select what the next thing is going to be that I concentrate on. So I love to hear from you. Let me know what spoke to you. Well, that's it for me, guys. I want to wish you a blessing of a happy Thanksgiving with your friends and family. And I just love that you guys took the time to watch this video. And one of the things I hope that you felt from this video was the spirit of love and just being in our blessed home with our family. And I tell you, I just can't thank God enough so guys i appreciate you for watching this video i hope it ministers to you in some way and it just inspires you to keep going and creating you don't necessarily have to have all things brand new but what you have is pretty much going to be good enough and you can turn anything anything into something beautiful when you put your mind to it happy thanksgiving from Amateur decorating like a pro. Happy Thanksgiving from Catherine. Happy Thanksgiving from your sister in Christ. And I wish you the very best. Thanks a lot for watching. And as always, stay in prayer and stay creative.